this is the orange box which is almost the greatest compilation in gaming is that fair to say we should probably start by playing the holy half-life 2 but t fortress 2 is way better i i, I don't know i half-life 2 half-life 2 episode 1 and half-life 2 episode 2 combined with the original portal that started one of the most epic gaming type franchises the and then there's we team fortress 2 which mother. is the classic version that some people still prefer and i think is pretty damn awesome this package is xbox one x enhanced nine times the pixel count for the 4k resolution and it's like where do you start what do you play it's this is gonna look incredible and this might be like the only place where you can actually legitimately enjoy the original team fortress 2 experience in the 4K resolution without it being completely cut down, swapped, and weirdly altered. Which I think is remarkable. So we're going to play a bit of Half-Life 2. Fingers crossed that I don't unlock any of the odd achievements, score-wise. So just a little bit of it, just so that we're safe, just to show it off. I don't want to wreck my gamer score. I think it's odd right now anyways, but I, I do not want to uh, have problems. I don't even know if I have uh, the storage on this anymore. I'm, I'm not sure if I saved it on the cloud. I, <laughs> I did. I played half an hour of this. Okay. Anyways, uh, Half-Life 2. Where, where do I begin? Freeman. He's He's got his cool weapons. It's one of the most beloved games of all time. The series, the Half-Life franchise. Everyone always wants a third entry. It'll never happen probably but you know there's the dream for it and this is remarkable looking you have to remember just how old this game is look at the textures and the quality it does seem to have a little bit of a questionable performance on the uh, I don't know there's something about it that's kind of a little off I don't know but wow that is absolutely remarkable looking It's like we got a static skybox, but the clouds are kind of a little bit of movement to them. That's weird. I just... Wow. That is really, really good looking. I have no idea where I am or what I'm doing, because I haven't played this in ages, but... This is just... Crazy. I'm assuming I came from this way, but we'll keep walking with it, just to take a look at things. Yeah, I mean, it looks like I shot people here. Obviously, I'm probably not the greatest of Half-Life fans, but I do know how much this series means to people and what it represents in terms of gaming and just like the the historics behind it. And I am amazed by the detail of this loading. At least it loads fast. That's a weird thing to get in the game. Wow. This is pretty crazy looking. It's not quite as smooth as I would have liked, but... It looks remarkable for the game of this age. Ow basically you know the city's kind of taken you're trying to fight back to a degree and you're part of a resistance and it's told over this really strong well-known narrative that you sort of you witness you witness what's happening and you experience it with groundbreaking visuals and qualities to it that are very well known in the industry this is just because I mean if you look at it it looks so amazing again something I mentioned in these these types of videos is it looks and plays how you remember it because when you look back and play games on the backwards compatibility uh, the visuals don't always you know wow you can actually do that in the game this old interesting uh, the visuals don't always hold up right you know they look a little rough around the edges lower res 
but they now it kind of looks like how you remember it which I think is remarkable let's switch over so this is Half-Life 2 episode 2 I assumed it was sort of safe to show because it's ancient so I don't think there's any spoilers I thought it was good to show Half-Life 2 when it started and where it sort of ended in terms of you know like visuals and improved quality and everything like that getting a look at the the water which was remarkable for the time now oh, this actually looks pretty good are we jumping out the window oh <gasps> look who it is gordon? yo oh gordon thank god you're okay those facial expressions are actually pretty good too hold on a sec i'll get you out of there character model looks good Ooh. Stand back. Here goes. So we're gonna see that in action. But yeah, again, looking at the the environment, the sense of scale, the sense of space, and just sort of where this thematically goes, it's a shame we'll never, I guess, see how much. More. Like I know you can sort of read up on. Uh, what exactly was supposed to happen but it's a shame we'll never get to experience that in a game environment at least I don't believe so the smoke the quality of the world very very impressive and the water seriously let's move on this looks really damn good I assume this is comparable to the PC version at 4k those are some very very clean textures Wow this actually looks really damn good. So, Portal. You know about Portal? So basically, you're solving puzzles and problems by thinking with portals. So you have two portals. You can run between the portals. And you can see yourself in the portals. Yep, you're a chill. And you're sort of... I don't know, getting bothered by the antagonist. GLaDOS. It's the robot that talks to you. There's two of these in the, the series so far. Maybe someday we'll see more. And you're going through a series of test chambers. And the test chambers are puzzles, obviously, like I mentioned. And they are portal-based, physics-based, uh, items-based. And you're taking objects, such as the cube that you just saw, to open things or try to hit new places or to solve problems it's creative it's different and it really is sort of i don't know a very a very very distinct sort of game it's, it's not something that you would sorry i'm not i'm not solving i'm just really taking in the, the visual quality of this it's it's so different and so new at the time that it was very innovative and the sequel with the co-op with the robots was a lot of fun and I think they did some really neat things with it but you can do all kinds of really fancy you know sort of things with this game oh crap that's not good and it was just the way they did it it was amazing at the time a lot of people still really have fun you know recollections of of Portal and playing it and it looks really damn good on this. I am seriously surprised that they were able to achieve this. <laughs> and I died. <laughs> and there's a sense of mystery too because there's like cake and you're not sure what's going on. And they they really dig into the now lore that in of, the of that. In the second one you don't get to see that as much here as it's fairly straightforward. But we're not really here to engage in a story. We're here to experience the changes in the visuals. And I just kind of want to give an idea of how you play this, you know, with the, the boxes, opening the doors, and, you know, the ideas behind it, and the companion cubes that are there, the, lo the lovely heart-shaped ones. And I'm just really blown away by how well this, such an old game, like, holds up. This was, like, just, like, a little test thing that they did. And it's certainly evolved into its own sort of franchise that is very well loved and very well regarded. But I think we're all really looking forward to... And sorry, I didn't really work on solving this at all. We're going to Team Fortress 2. Uh, 
Team Fortress 2, which I absolutely just love. This, to me, is one of my favorite games. Now, I know I didn't play it an absolute, well, I did play it a ton. I, I think I remember playing it a ton on here. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty good for a small part of a game. What is that, like 10, 15 hours at least on this back in the day? Uh, as long as there was, like, people sort of supporting it and playing it, right? I was enjoying this this game. It was so good. I mean, it's Team Fortress 2. <laughs> All right, Team Fortress 2. This is actually my second attempt at getting the footage. That, the last game kind of just, like, ended abruptly. So anyways, we got a couple different classes. Uh, defense, support, I usually play as an engineer. This is heavily team-based. Uh, there's missions. The goal of the, well, the, the general, you know, mission that the engineer has, or his job is to build, like, a turret and a dispensary for items and uh, t teleporters to get them fast, like, get to your teammates everywhere. Uh, there's different, like, the classes each fill. Boy, we've got the sniper for sniping. We've got the scout that's just super fast and runs really quickly. Uh, the soldier with the rockets. We've got the spy that can dress up as enemy players. We've got the medic that heals and specifically hangs out with the big heavy guy because, you know, he gives them like a super buff and they're ultra powerful. But yeah, that's what this game is. It's objective based. You're pushing for the objectives. Uh, geez, he's going to kill me with the damn bottle. And it's, it's got that cartoon style that works so well for it. And I got to say, the visuals are remarkable on this. It's got like another, like kind of a like a bit of a performance hiccup that I also noticed on the other games. I don't know if that's coming through on the video, but it seems a little bit slower. I don't know if that was always there on this version, but uh, it's definitely something that is present. Uh, so yeah, not 100% perfect, but damn is this nice to see. I have to go get health because I'm going to die. But yeah, it's just a ton of fun. The game was great. This is the original style that people will remember. Uh, it plays great today. It's still a lot of fun. I think it holds up very well for competitive play. Assuming you can get into a lobby, there seems to be a few of them and they're quite full. Uh, yeah, it's just large-scale games, exciting classes, and lots of competitive action that I think not a lot of games really get right these days. And I was, I've always been wanting a third entry in this series. I thought, uh, you know, they... Okay, we'll be teleporting here. I know that they keep updating Team Fortress 2, but I've always wanted a third one where it's like a fresh start and, uh, you know, available on, on all the consoles and all the platforms of, like, a cross-play situation. I thought that might be just the perfect way to, you know, do this series again. Because the second one's kind of, like, gotten a little too weird. Whoa, was that a... Is that a... That's a spy, isn't it? With the invis I don't know, it's been years since I played this, but that, that was a spy. Definitely a spy. Oh, that's a spy! <gasps> I knew it was! I knew it! I saw it, I was like, that's a spy! Kind of throws you off. I should probably build, like, a turret and get that going to kind of fill my niche role, but... I don't know what anyone's doing in this. I don't think they're really too focused right now. Anyways, yeah, it's just great competitive PvP action. Uh, you got these different things. You can emote, uh, you can build stuff. Guess I should get my sentry going. Sentry going up. And yeah, you, you've all got like things you're supposed to do. And I'm trying to upgrade my sentry, but I'm getting blown up by the grenade launcher. It's just really good. And the orange box in general is just an excellent package. It comes stacked with games. It's one game, but it's so much more because they're all Valve titles. And it was just a sort of, not experimental, but weird mixture that was so different at the time and gave us so many unique games that we weren't expecting. Sorry, I'm trying to get my... Give me that Uber! You're gonna... Did I get hit in the back? Did I kill somebody with a... With a wrench? That's what that icon means, right? I wrenched somebody? That's cool. 
I guess I'll change classes after to be something a little bit different. Maybe we'll do the scout because it's a little bit faster. Yeah, yeah it's just, what, what an interesting package. And I'd really maybe even like a remastered version of the Orange Box in general, getting all these games, you know, as a new package, or even remastering them, maybe throwing in the first Half-Life. Ah, oh, crap. This is not good. Not good at all. I was trying to get up there to get to the ammo. Yeah, you can see how it's got that, like this cartoony. It's a little bit gory, but it's just like a fun, wacky game that's different, you know. It's not something that you would really anticipate or expect. And I just... It's crazy to be enticed to go back and play this. Because I haven't touched it in so long, you know. There's just been no reason, right? But this is so good to look at, and it preserves these titles in such a way for the consoles, you know, that we can enjoy them for an extended period of time, obviously, the longevity. And it's going to hold up well because, I mean, these visuals are just fantastic. The quality of the textures across all, all of the games. Uh, the story, if you're playing Half-Life, the multiplayer, if you want to experience Team Fortress, or even the puzzle-solving almost kind of a narrative adventure with uh, with a portal obviously you know Chell you get to experience her first struggle second game is really just an absolute classic if you never played that one it really does evolve that game quite a lot but yeah that's basically the orange box these are treasured games they're all fantastic half-life is something you should know if you're in game into gaming at all I guess this game you might not, I think it's still wildly popular on PC and stuff, but this is the original vision they had for it before it got all weird, and I think it still holds up pretty well. Then of course we've got that classic portal, if you've ever wanted to try it. I believe it's a standalone 2 portal still alive, but you know, you have to look into that. But yeah, that is the orange box. Ah.